So essentially guys, we're going to be reviewing your delivery designs which you guys have submitted and I have to say thank you so much to each and every one of you. I mean, I received well over 80 designs but having to pick the top 10 that was the most difficult thing in my YouTube career but we managed to do so. So guys, in terms of the results, which is why you're here, you'll be receiving this for third place. And this is essentially where you get to build your own Rolls Royce Trend engine and inside it's got uh, I don't know leaflets and you get to pick you design your own thing and you'll also be receiving this Airbus tag which I got from the Farnborough Air Show by the way all of these prizes are from the Farnborough Air Show so just letting you know now for second place you'll be receiving build your own A380 you'll also be receiving build your own engine as third place and you'll also receive a magazine from aerospace which has got some interesting stuff inside so that's cool and finally for first place you'll be receiving the Farmer Airshow brochure which I paid £5 of my own money <laughs> and you'll be receiving a book which I have no idea what it's about but they were giving it away from the Airbus stall so I thought it'd be great to take one so guys let's briefly go through the top 10 designs and let's see which one was the best so in no particular order the first livery comes in from Kuhoku and he's essentially done the Lufthansa livery on the A350 now my first overall impression was is that it's very different from the actual Lufthansa livery in terms of use of colour and the design. But if there's one piece of advice that I could give for improvement, is that this long bar here, bring it further down, like actually near the body, and have it meet the tail from around here. Because I feel like it doesn't really go as well compared to if it was down here. Also, the choice of colour should have been more in line with the actual colours that the airline uses, you know, the dark blue. But apart from that, I really like in the tail and the engine covers. But I get the impression that this is your first actual attempt at making a livery. Because if that's the case, then I have to say, that's a great attempt because you managed to create something better than I actually did on my first attempt. So Kohoku, thank you so much for sending that in. Overall, I would give it an 8. So guys, the next livery comes in from Libro and he's essentially done a spin-off on the Philippine Airlines A350. Now my first impression when I saw the livery is that it's very eye appealing. Especially around the tail fin here, I feel like this is a great move to do. Comparing this to the old livery, I feel like this is way better. And in terms of improvements, I feel like this dark brown colour here, that doesn't really flow well with this, with the blue and the red. Perhaps having the brown over here next to the red and the red over here, so basically, you know, swapping them around. In my opinion, I would get rid of the brown totally and just use this yellow greenish colour here. And just stick with that and try to see what you can come up with even better. I'm also liking the font which you decided to use and also the placement of the flag. In terms of the engine cover, perhaps having the star on there also would also be a great addition. So overall, I would give the livery an 8. Perhaps you should send it over to Philippine Airlines and see what they say. So thank you so much for sending your livery in Libro and I would give it an 8. So the next livery is the Air Transit A330 from Hey Hey. Now in terms of design liveries, he hasn't actually done his own, but instead he's decided to replicate the current Air Transit livery. Now the reason why I chose this is because he said it's his first time and I have to say that's a great effort man. I've had a look at his effort and also the original and to be honest there's not much difference. So I have to give it to you man, that's a great effort for your first attempt. So overall, I would give Hey Hey for his air transit livery a 9. So Capitans, the next livery is the 787 Saudi from Hamza. So Hamza, I have to ask you the question what possessed you to use the colour black because man it totally ruins the look of the whole livery man if you use the colour which is currently used on their livery then it might have looked actually quite good but considering that you use black and I don't understand what the reasoning behind it is it, it kind of ruins the whole look of it but there is one thing that I'm liking and that is the font and its colour it kind of reminds me of the Gulf Air livery you know with the size of the text that they placed on the front of the plane and also the use of this picture of the I think it's the mosque it's actually quite good because out of all of the liveries that have been submitted nobody has actually done this so that's a well done to you man but in order to improve it I would suggest using the current colors of the livery and getting away from the black and also adding something to the engine covers because it looks kind of plain if you incorporated the design elements of the current livery then I think you could produce something good so Hamza, for your overall effort, I would give you a 7. 
So guys, the next one comes in from Alusio and he's done the Philippine Airlines A330. Now, this is actually quite similar to the one that we saw previously from Liribo. However, this one is more defined. Now, my first overall impression is that it's very simple. And sometimes simplicity outweighs complexity. And in terms of this livery, simplicity is done well. So I'm liking what you've done at the back end of the plane with the tail, a nice use of colours and the placement. In terms of the engine cover, you could have done a bit more with that, so you could have added the colour scheme here onto the engine cover and also the front of the plane because that looks kind of bland. Also adding the colouring on the wingtip is also a great addition because that's not something which many people have done. So Alucio, thank you so much for sending it in and I would give you an 8. Whoa, what do we have here? So Sergey Pop Planet has sent in his A380 Singapore Airlines livery. And I have to say, when I first saw this, I was like, damn, that's something different. Now, in terms of the actual design, I think it's quite good because of the curvature that you've decided to use. But I feel like the top part of it is quite bland and also the bottom part of it. Perhaps you could have used this bar here to cover half of the body instead of just like a tiny bit of it because that's what actually ruins it. Um, but in terms of the like the art design, I'm actually quite liking it and the engine covers, well they could have done with a bit more work because it doesn't really look that great. But the tail fin, oh my god that looks awesome. But you have demonstrated the use of curvature and lines which you have done quite well. And to be honest when I started out I found it quite difficult to do these curvatures but you've done it. But you've managed to do it quite well, so that's a good on you, man. So, Sergey Pop Planet, thank you for sending it in, and I would give you an 8. So, guys, here's another delivery from Sergey Pop Planet, and he's done the Japan Airlines on the 787. Now, there are very rare occasions where you actually update the current livery to make it look better, and this is one example where the livery has actually been made better than the current one. Firstly, I like how you've expanded the logo on the tail to cover all of the tail fin, and also a very small addition is of this. Now by using this effect, it gives it a jagged effect, meaning that it's incomplete. And I feel like it complements well with the rest of the body because you feel like there's still more to come or it hasn't been completed. But an area that you could improve on is the engine covers because that looks very plain. But if your decision was to go with the white of the body with the engines, then I feel like it's a good move. But other than that, you could have incorporated the design of the tail fin onto the engine covers. So thank you Sergey for sending in your livery and I will give you a 10. So guys, I present you another Saudi delivery by Mr. Pixel195. Now, there's not really much for me to say about this except for the fact that I'm truly, truly impressed by what you've done here. I'm liking what you've done with the logo here and how it flows so well with the line. To get that actually looking very good, I know it takes a lot of time so I can see how much effort you've put into it. The only advice I would give is using the current colours of the livery to fill in the white area of the top of the plane. Apart from that, there's not really much for me to say except that's a great effort and I would give you a straight up 10. So guys, the next one comes in from Mark and he's done the China Airlines A350. Now, there's not actually much difference compared to the original one, but I'm liking how you've extended these lines to cover the whole of the underbody and extend it to the tail fin. As I said earlier, there's not many occasions where you actually update the current livery to make it look better, but I feel like you've done quite well with this. In terms of any improvements, well, to be honest, I don't think there are any improvements that need to be made because you don't want to stray away too much from the actual livery. Adding a few adjustments here and there will make it look better, but it's all about simplicity, which China Airline is. I might even consider using it for future purposes because that's how good it is. But nevertheless, I'll give you a 10, bro. And guys, the final livery comes in from Sam A for Garuda Indonesia on the A350. Now, I don't really understand what your reasoning behind is using this colour scheme because we know that Garuda Indonesia uses the blues and the dark blues. But apart from that, it's very simple and it's very elegant. And perhaps you could have done with a bit more excitement, especially at the rear end. But I'm liking how you've added the style on the tail fin and also the logo and the engine. But perhaps this is your first attempt and if that's the case then that's very great because you managed to make a great one. So thank you so much for sending it in Sam and I will give you a score of 8. So guys, it's results time! So after adding up all of the results from the survey, third place goes to Mr. Pixel 195 for his sound for 7 Saudi. So I mean in terms of this design I really loved it because it flowed naturally and it could have been a design that the airline could adopt. I mean, you could have changed the colour which the airline uses, but as it stands at the moment, it's a very great design. So thank you so much for that. So second place goes to Mark for his China A350 design. 
You didn't stray too much away from the actual livery, but you did use the imagination in terms of trying to make it better. So that was a great one. Now, finally, captains, first place goes to Sergei Pop Planet for his Japan Airlines 787. Woohoo! So overwhelmingly, this design gained the most votes. I mean, it's a livery which actually looks really eye-pleasing and it actually suits the 787 Dreamliner. So both of those combinations produced a good livery. So thank you so much for that. So Mark, Sergey, and Mr. Pixel, please send in your details so I can send you your prizes out. In terms of the rest of you guys, thank you so much for submitting your liveries. I know it can be saddening when your livery doesn't even get into the top 10, but the amount of time and effort and the level of detail that you guys are putting into their liveries, it just raised the bar so much. But I will be releasing more competitions in the future and I'll also be increasing the number of winners. So there could be an opportunity for you guys to win. So in terms of the next competition guys, um, I haven't decided what it will actually be, but I will let you guys know in the Discord server and also on the YouTube post. So stay tuned for that. So thank you so much for watching captains. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Congratulations to the winners and also congratulations to the guys who made it into the top 10. I hope you guys learned something even if it was small and I'll also be releasing the tutorial video which will help you guys to make your liveries better. So stay tuned for that also. Until the next video guys, stay safe.